All right, so today we are going to cover money, um, how to keep it safe, and how to get uh, as much as you need. Um, so basically, if you keep all your money in your regular bank account, uh, that sucks because if someone does get access to your system or you have any, any saved passwords or anything, then they're gonna be able to take all your money. So the typical option is to use a BTC because the exchange rate is $1 to one BTC back and forth. So basically anytime you get a bunch of money, you don't keep it in your bank, you get a wallet and you put all that money into your wallet. Um, and so that is exactly what we're gonna do um, and so the first thing that we need is the actual wallet. Now, it's important to remember that you have one wallet that holds all your coins and each coin uses a sub wallet and it, it'll become very apparent. Um, so the first thing you wanna do is go to the regular shop. You don't need anything um, and you go and you just download the wallet program. Uh, and once you download it, you just launch the wallet. Now I've already created an account, so I'm gonna hit one to log in. Um, but if, but obviously if you haven't made one yet, you just hit two, you make a username, password, etc. cetera. I'm gonna do it that way. So I'm gonna log in here, okay? And I have some Goblin coin and some BTC. Um, and now if we want to buy or sell coins, we're gonna need the sub wallet for each of those coins, right? So Goblin Coin has its own sub wallet. BTC has its own sub wallet. Now, the place that you get it is www.btc. Uh, here, let me put it in a notepad. www.btc.com, pretty simple. And I'm already here, but just for sake of it. Um, and then you're gonna go to the downloads page and the three things that you want are BTC, BTC shop, and then the SO. Um, so let's do that real quick. And if you had a different coin, there would, I'm, there would be a different place that you go um, and get the sub wallet um, for you to create. So let's actually let's open up a new window. Um, and so we have all of those here. Um, and so we're gonna launch BTC. And if you've never done it before, you type register because I've already created my account. I'm just gonna hit log in. Um, and then I'm gonna pump in my username. And then here you have a computer color. And this is basically for verification. So because the color is this, just take note of that. If you're logging into other programs that use the wallet, it should still be the same color. Keep in mind, if you're on a different computer, that color will also be different because it's generated by computer, right? Um, so I'm gonna log in here. Okay, and this is just all my information, right? And so now that I've created a sub wallet, in my regular wallet, I can trade, right? So let's say that I have 200 bucks in here. So I want to buy some coins. This is in my regular wallet. This is not in my sub wallet. Once you've created your sub wallet, you link it to your regular wallet and buy it here. So the coin name is BTC. How much? Um, we'll just do everything. The proposed price per unit, which is one. And then I need my sub wallet user, right? So once you've created the account, you have that sub wallet user, you pop it in there. And there you go. And so now I have an extra 200 coins. And now I have $3 in my account, okay? So basically you've just put all of your money into crypto. You don't have to worry about all of your money getting stolen anymore. Um, and so the other part of this that I think is really cool is the shop. Um, and this is where you can use this Bitcoin um, to get tools and a bunch of other information. So if I'm back at home, I'm gonna launch, actually I need to go cd slash root, oops. Um, and we're gonna go BTC shop, okay? And this is the shop. So 
you can, there's a couple options here, zero to actually get to the shop, right? And then you have all of your options for things you wanna buy. Um, and so zero is tools. And here's a bunch of tools that were made by other players that's available um, for you to get. A lot of, I know a lot of these also just have GitHub links, but I, I kind of like the idea of, you know, of keeping it in game. So um, I've already bought Akari, and so we're just gonna use this as an example. Um, so I'm gonna go 15, and see, I can buy it right now, or I can log into my account because I already have it, right? So this is where the, uh, the uh, two-factor basically comes in. That, com that color shouldn't change because I have not changed computers that I was doing this on, right? And so now I have Akari on my system. Now notice that there may need to be some permission changes for Akari to work properly, um, but I just wanted to show you how to download that, okay? So we have um, made money, put it into crypto, and then we've bought some tools with it. So this is all good, but I think the, um, the fun part here is the, uh, is the bank grinder. So I'm gonna link the GitHub in the description, and this will basically give you as much crypto as you need. Um, so you go to the GitHub, copy the link, um, and we're gonna go to code editor.exe and we're just going to paste it in there and we're just going to call it bank okay and so basically what this does is it's going to iterate until it gets 500 bank accounts okay and then it will output it to a file so let's just type bank and it's just gonna start doing its job. Um, and then once it hits 500, um, then it'll it'll save it all to a file. Um, and then you just copy and paste it and log in. So I'm gonna cut to when this is done um, and then we'll do a couple of them. <clears throat> all right, we are coming up on 500 banks. Um, so once we hit that threshold, it's gonna create a folder. Um, and then inside that folder, is going to be the stuff. So let me break out of this. And now we have banks folder, right? And then inside this uh, is a list of 500 bank accounts and their passwords. Now it can, sometimes they have none, sometimes they have like 150 bucks in there. Um, but honestly, if you ever need some money, just, uh, you know, fire this up for a little bit and go grab some. I. I was hesitant to cover these in videos because I don't know if this kind of like disincentivizes people to play the game if they no longer need money. But I think in most cases it doesn't. Um, I feel like the money isn't like really a huge part of why a lot of people play this because it's it's not like a huge part of it, right? Like the the behind the, the scenes stuff is where you know most of the action happens. So um, yeah. I also wanted to mention that we are gonna cover, like I downloaded Akari um, in BTC, and and there's some other programs that I wanna cover as well um, in future videos. So we will be using some of these tools that we're getting from the hack shop. Uh, I just wanted to make this video to be specifically about, you know, getting your finances up, you know? So yeah, um, and we'll also be covering um, securing libraries in a, in a video coming up soon too. So, you know, obviously, thanks to everybody for all the comments and stuff, the obligatory like, comment, uh, and subscribe thing. Um, oh, and I will probably um, be uploading some other videos outside of Greyhack, um, mostly because I've been doing some cool Arduino stuff to automate watering a bunch of my plants because I do a lot of gardening. Um, and I think that would just be pretty cool and interesting. So, you know, you may see some of that stuff coming up too. But uh, obviously, as always, if you have any questions, Leave them below and we'll go over them. Thanks, guys.